Now that we've shown you how to actually display the data, let's go and show you how to display data for a specific record out of that list that we received in the models. Now, when you look at this screen, notice I have two index CSHTML files. But you need to realize this index CSHTML file is the one in the student view, which is right here. And this index CSHTML file is the one in the home view. So we're going to work with the index CSHTML file in the student view. Notice that when we created that scaffolded template, it displays each record out of the model and then displays three other action links with it. This one says, if you click on the word details, we'll send you to the details action method. And you'll pass it a new parameter, which is going to be an array holding one element called ID. And we're going to take the current student ID from that model record and pass it to that controller. Now, there's different overloaded action link methods. If you don't specify the controller name on an action link, it will look or assume you're in the same controller that you're currently working in. And remember, we said that this view is working in the student folder, which means it's being controlled or handled by the student controller. So if we wanted to write an action method for details, we would come over to the student controller and that's where we would write our new action method. So we just type in public action result and would specify the name, which is details. And then we said, if you look back over on the HTML view, we said that there's a parameter coming in called ID. So we'll come over here and we'll say int and we're going to say it's optional. So we'll put a question mark there and the word ID. And then what we want to do in this controller is say uh, if there's a value in the ID, which in other words, if ID is not equal to null, we want to go ahead and go grab a single record using that ID out of the database table and return the one record back to a brand new view. So here's how you do that. So let me explain what I typed in. For the details controller, in the student controller, we're going to receive a parameter called ID, but that's optional. We might or might not receive it. If we don't receive, I'm sorry, if we do receive a parameter, we're going to create a brand new variable of type I enumerable for student majors. And then we're going to use our database context object. And with the database, run a query working with that model that goes and grabs all the records, but the thing that has to be different, because this is pr exactly what we copied before, is that we want to actually say, instead of putting an order by, we want to say where student dot student ID equals to the parameter that we received. So this will say, go grab that record from that join, but only grab the record where the student ID is equal to the parameter that the action method received. Then return to the view that I enumerable, which really is one record, but the way we tell the system we're only working with one record is by saying first or default. So go grab the data, which is a collection, but just return one record out of it. And there'll only, hopefully there'll only be one record anyway. Otherwise, if we didn't receive an ID, let's just do a redirect back to the index action method for the student controller, which remember, that's the one that just displays a list of all the records that are out there. Now we need to go create the view for this details. So right mouse click in the view and choose add view. We'll call it details. We want it to be a details view scaffolded based upon our student majors model we're working with. Click Add. The system will go out and scaffold a brand new view for you and create all the HTML stuff you need to work with the model. Now, if you notice, this is different from the other one. Here's the index and student. It said it was receiving an I enumerable of that model. 
whereas detail says, I'm just receiving one record. There is no I enumerable. I'm receiving one record for that model. And it just simply says, let's go display the information, the name for each of the columns. So that does the name for each of the columns. And along with the name, there's the name. It says, go display the actual data right next to it. So we're using the DL tag and the DT tag and the DD tag. So the DL is create a description list. Go create a term or in other words, a label and then go display the data. And we do that for all the records or all the columns in that model that we just returned back. And then notice it created two other action links. One allows you to go edit it, which we haven't created that action link yet, but the action link is there that if you click on edit, you go to the edit controller in the, sorry, the edit action method in the student controller and you pass it the ID or just say back to list, which sends you to the index action method for the student controller. Let's save this, build it. And we'll go back to the main index, which is our school of hard knocks and we'll run that application. And within that website, it'll show our landing page with our links on it. And this time we're going to click on the view students. Here's all the students. And let's click on Bobby Joe Catfish. Let's click on details. Now, if you look down in the bottom corner, look over here in the bottom corner, watch what it says. You're going to call the student controller, the details action method, and you're going to pass it the parameter of two for that route map. And so it now displays Bobby Joe Catfish. We can click back to list, which sends us back to the view. You could do that with another record. Now remember, if you clicked edit, it's going to blow up because it says I've got an HTTP 404. I don't know who you're talking about. So you can go ahead and close that and stop running the application. And that's how you can actually display a single record out of the database.